Hi there, want to learn how to create a drop down list in Excel? Let me help. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work where we offer straightforward non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter and improve your Microsoft Office skills. So, let's look at how you can quickly create a drop down list in Excel. I'll show you two different ways and explain the advantages of each. If you're using an older version of Excel, be sure to watch right to the end and I'll show you a wee step you will need to add so that you can easily create an Excel drop down list from another worksheet. And if you love learning new things about Excel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, let's get going. Right, let's have a look at how we can create a drop down list in Excel. So what I have here is a wee spreadsheet where I have a sum if function in B4. Now the sum if function is giving me the total of sales made by Anne. And as you can see, Anne's name is in B3 up here. So the sum if function is looking, I'll just show you, looking at B3 and looking down here and finding Anne's name and bringing back her total, just pressing my escape key. But what I would like to do is have a drop down option here where I could select any member of my sales team from over here so that I can then have their total sales update per member. So this is actually really simple and I want to step you through two different options. So we're going to start by looking at creating a drop down from a list that's on the same worksheet. Now over here you can see that I've got a unique list of every person in our sales team. You can also see that I've sorted this already and that's quite a good idea when you have a drop down list. Most people look alphabetically from the top to the bottom when they're looking for text. So that's just an idea, you don't have to do it. So to create your drop down, make sure you're on the cell that you're wanting to have the drop down information on and your list already exists. Then what we'll do is we'll make our way over to the data tab and we're looking for this option here. So it's called data validation. On the drop down you can see it here. We're going to click onto that once. And down here under the settings tab we are now going to select from allow list. Now I'll just move this out of the way. In the source box, you'd click down into the source box and this is where you highlight your list. And of course we can see it in the background here. So I'm just going up to the top and selecting right to the bottom. And of course we can now see the range for our list inside the source box. All we need to do now is click on to OK. And you've now created your list. And if we come over here and have a look, you'll see there's our list. If I just scoot up a little bit, there's Abel and you can see all the way down to the bottom, Xavier at the bottom here. And because that range is dynamic, if I come over here and I change the spelling of somebody's name, you can see we've changed Abel's name there, and if I come back up here and click, just scoot up again, you'll see that it is dynamic and it will update for you. So I've shown you how to create a drop down list based on a list that belongs in the same worksheet. But a lot of the times I see people putting their lists onto another worksheet and then most times they hide that worksheet. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So I'm just going to undo and remove the drop down. So let's just make sure that it's gone. Yep, it's gone. Now I'm going to move the sales team list over to this worksheet over here. So we're going to cut and move it over to the worksheet and just paste it. You can paste it anywhere you like. Right, I'll make my way back to the drop down list and onto the cell that I want to have my drop down on. Again, making my way to the data tab and across to data validation and then down to list and source. Now all you need to do is click onto the worksheet that holds the list. Now if at this point you're trying to actually click onto the worksheet and Excel isn't allowing you to go to another worksheet, it could be because you're using an older version of Excel. So what I'd ask you to do is pop to the end of this video, you can use the jump links if you want to in the description underneath this video to get to it and look for information on how to do this in an older version. For those of you that are in the newer version, this will work for you. So we're going down to sales team. And all you need to do is the same as what I showed you before, just highlight over that area and you'll see that we have the addition of the worksheet name in here. So you can see sales team worksheet and then the range inside it or beside it. Clicking on to OK and look at that. 
So we actually have that information in there, no problem at all. And now what I normally see people do at this point is they will hide the worksheet. And the reason they do this is just so that the list is out of the way from other people if they're using this worksheet. So what they normally do is they come down and they just go hide and they will hide it. And of course now it looks like that drop down list is there. And of course it is on the hidden worksheet. Right, if you've jumped to this spot, it's possibly because you are using an older version of Excel and you couldn't click onto the sales team worksheet tab. So I want to show you a workaround. If you are using an older version of Excel and you do need to create a drop down list that will be held on another worksheet, this is how you're going to need to do it. So make your way to the other tab that holds the list. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over your list and give it a name. So up here in the name box, you can just click into it and type a name. So I'm just going to call this sales team, but you'll see that I don't put a space in between the two words, run them together. Press your enter key and you've now given that list a name. Now coming back to the drop down list option over here, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to data, we're going across to validation and list. Just move this over here. And when we come down to source, what we're going to do is we're going to use that named range. So we're going to go equals sales team. It doesn't need to be in proper case. Click onto OK. And look at this. Perfect. So if you are using an older version, you will need to do that, okay? And that helps Excel identify the list that you're going to use and locate it on the other worksheet. So I really hope this instruction has been helpful and you are now able to quickly insert Excel drop-down lists. And if you use Excel and want to stay connected, please consider liking and subscribing because I'm sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.